everyone, my name is Lydia Du, and today I will be presenting on leveraging deep learning for optical chip-based pancreatic cancer screening. So to start off, here's a little bit of information about me. I'm a rising senior at the Liberal Arts and Science Academy in Austin, Texas. In school, I'm involved in HOSA and also robotics on the electrical team. This summer, I'm doing an internship under Dr. Ray Chen at the University of Texas at Austin in the electrical and computer engineering department. I am also a Women's Center volunteer at the St. Davis Medical Center and a violinist of eight to almost nine years. Next, here's an outline of what I'll be going through today, which includes a background in pancreatic cancer, an optical chip for early pancreatic cancer biomarker detection, deep learning and based image processing for target recognition, using deep learning to scan and classify pancreatic cancer stages, and finally a conclusion. So to start off, here are some basics on pancreatic cancer. It is the number three leading cause of cancer-related deaths, despite being only the 12th most common form of cancer. I've also listed a couple of quite devastating statistics on the screen right here. And in order to fight pancreatic cancer and raise these survival rates, the best way to do so is by detecting pancreatic cancer early on. So in order to do this, Dr. Chen's group developed a silicon optical chip that's able to detect biomarkers in patient fluid samples. So this is done by drawing fluid. So in the case of pancreatic cancer, blood is drawn. And then this is put in the microfluidic chip channels, which then reads the sample and detects to see if there's any biomarkers based on a wavelength shift. Next, here's our methodology for the early detection. First, as I just mentioned before, the biochip is used to detect for early stage pancreatic cancer by looking for biomarkers. Then if the sample was tested positive, the patient should be taken in for CT scans to confirm that they do indeed have pancreatic cancer. Next, this is the key point of my contribution, which is a deep learning model which can confirm the, page, the stage of pancreatic cancer and also give out its best curing process. Then this information should be confirmed with a doctor for treatment for the patient. And then our cycle of detection and treatment can continue by monitoring the treatment process through using the biochip again to see if there's a reduction in the biomarkers. Next, here's a basic background of deep learning based image processing for target recognition. So essentially, deep learning is machine learning that uses artificial neural networks with multiple layers of processing in order to extract progressively higher level features from data. So the model I used was the long short-term memory model, or LSTM. And this essentially just shortens computation time for screening high-resolution images or large, large size files. The key component of LSTM is its short-term memory, which essentially just removes irrelevant data from memory after computation has finished. So then there is more space for computations to run faster. So in our case study, I used deep learning to scan and classify pancreatic cancer stages. So I did this through using the Texas Advanced Computing Center's analysis portal. And the data set I used was from the NIH and it is the 3D pancreatic cancer CT scans. And these are all quite high resolution scans. And there are many, many files. There are many, many slices, 19,237 slices from 82 individuals, thus making it very important that I use LSTM. So basically in order to, in order to scan and classify the cancer stages, I just input the patient data. So in the example here, I have a slice of NIH's subject 57's pancreas, but for the data, you input the whole scan of a pancreas. Then you process the data through some code. And here's a screenshot of my code, of a little portion of my code, which it ran through. And then you can get the results. So in this image right here, this is a CT scan of subject 57's pancreas who has cancer. 
Then this is compared with a mask of someone who has a normal or a healthy pancreas. And these are overlapped. And as you can see right here, there is a small red area, which is the abnormality in the patient 57 CT scan. And with this, the, the uh, deep learning model is able to predict where the cancer is. And also based on the sizing, the deep learning model is also able to predict the stage of the cancer and whether it's regional or localized. So in conclusion, cancer, this is very important because cancer is one of the top two leading causes of death in the world, which makes a very serious global health issue. As I mentioned before, early detection is one of the best weapons against cancer. And we're able to do this, we're able to help this through using our methodology, as also mentioned before. So in, as I mentioned, I use pancreatic cancer as a case study, but the biochip is also able to detect other forms of cancer in the same way as it was mentioned for pancreatic cancer. And the deep learning model is also able to be trained to scan for other forms of cancer. So our silicone-based biochip is not only cost effective, but it's also highly sensitive for early detection. And implementing the deep learning algorithm, as I presented, is able to provide very fast diagnosis with very high accuracy, as the whole process does not include any human interference, thus also cutting out any human errors. This technology not only provides early detection, but it's also able to monitor the effectiveness, effectiveness of cancer treatment as seen with the repeating cycle of the methodology using the biochip again to confirm progress. And this will help save lives. This project is still ongoing, so further publication is still under preparation. Lastly, I would like to acknowledge Dr. Ray Chen as the supervisor and professor of this project, as well as Joycelyn Yang as my mentor for this project. Here are my references. And thank you so much for listening to my presentation. If you have any questions, please contact my email right here. Thank you.